Hello, Floss 2. Greetings. I'm Laura. I'm Joe. And welcome to the Slovak farm. Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, welcome to all of our returning subscribers. And welcome back to all of our returning subscribers. You know, someday I'll get through one of these without saying something stupid. And welcome to all of our new subscribers. We have had a number of new subscribers today. Which tells me somebody talked about us. Hopefully it was all good. <laughs> hmm, I'm, I have an idea who that might be. One I have an idea it was Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching. We went to Keepsakes on Friday. Um, we walked in and I thought my head was going to explode. Because it is just stuff everywhere. I honestly expected to need paramedics. I thought my head was going to explode. I'm like, I don't know which way this bears. I was actually expecting an exorcist moment. Yeah, I get all the pretty dizzy. It was, at Cute Fix is the cutest little store. We sat and we stitched for a while. Hopefully we made a good impression. I feel like we did. Yeah. But, you know, hopefully we were polite and kind. No, and hopefully we, good, we were. And we made a good impression. No, hopefully we were. So, so, only a couple of comments from last week's video. Joe, why don't you read Lynn's comment? Lynn, sure, do, Joe. You can use my last name. And her friend got gifted school bus fabric. So apparently, school bus fabric exists. Bridget. Um, Belinda Aussie Stitcher, who's another floss tuber, lovely lady. I've chatted with her on virtual stitchers. Um, she wished you to feel better. You wouldn't if you go to the dentist. She I'm says she anyway. uses pens and highlighters all the time. I remember one time we moved the bed and everything. I, I oh, I was cleaning. I was doing that uh, the whole floor. Mopping thing? Yeah. By God. I had three packs of pens that I did not have before I started. Some of them were in the box spring. Dog's over there so much. She's got to puke. Please don't throw up, dog. On my chair. And then there's the cat. The kitty is being overly friendly today because we were gone all weekend. And the puppy was at the vets for boarding, and they're working on the porch, which is right the other side of this wall. <laughs> so, I am very glad we're getting the porch done. Thankfully, we are getting a very good deal because we, it's somebody that her family has been using for <laughs> a while. time, and it's still a lot of money. And it's a mess right now. Um, if you're in a construction project and it's not a mess, they're not doing it right. True story. What's our question for the week? Because that's all the comments we had, like, really. Question for the week. What's the furthest you've traveled to go stitch at a stitching store? What's the furthest you've traveled to go stitch somewhere? Because some people go to retreats. And they go a long ways to go to retreats. So what's the furthest you've traveled to go stitching? I think we're like three, four hundred miles. How far is there, Esper? Well, I know it's five to my, to my mom's, and that's halfway there. Eh, Harrisburg's a little bit better than halfway there. That's what I said, about three. So. Oh, three hundred? Three, maybe four. I don't know. I'll look it up. Later. Later. I'll tell you guys next week. And this is the cat butt. And this is the cat butt. I'm trying to keep And his... if you own cats? I'm trying to keep him decent. <clears throat> keep his tail down over his butt. That's it for the comments section, because, like I said, we don't have very many comments this week. Moving on. Whips. <laughs> and finishes. And FFOs. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything this week. First, no. Kit and Bitsy, really friendly cats. There we go. 
I got some work done this guy. He has two of his legs. Two of his legs, two of his I have that in my uh, lovely Valentine's Day present made by my wifey Pooh. That is on 14 count, white data. And I call for DMCs. It's black cats. I don't want to get, get creative with that. That's just awesome. And I have no more whips. I didn't finish. finish. He has a finish, Pebal. I got my dice done. So those that don't know, this is called a D20. I'm putting this on a dice bag. Which is literally just what it sounds like. It's a bag, you put dice in and that is on hand dyed by the Silva Farm in the Oak Crap. I spilled it colorway. Otherwise known as a truly one of a kind piece. And what color DMC did you use? Um, I do believe I missed, did not, I lost the number of labeled things. I'm gonna die. And it, I don't know DMC color, and now I have a whole scan of DMC that I don't know color. So, you love me? Yes. Dear Lord. And I'm missing something. What are you missing? I'm missing. No mind. Put it in there. Lord, love a duck. So I stitched a little bit early last week on Life's Moments by Design Works. It is the kit. Hey, hon. What? You need to move the camera a little bit. Turn it. Earthquake. Better? Yeah, I can see my pretty wife. Pardon the interruption. Sorry, I'm technically in line with the camera device. Gotta find it in the bottom, right? Project Fake. Project Fake. I'm almost done with the pedals on the Big Daisy, which is a major hurdle. Unlikely it's gonna get touched this month. I signed up, so uh, May 1st, so Wednesday, May 1st, I. Took this to work and I started stitching on it. I signed up for for for, for um, semi sane stitchers. For what? It's called semi sane stitchers. It's a group, and they have a whole bunch of challenges, stitching challenges. Some of them are counting. Some of them are just stitch in a certain time frame. Um, one of them's like a non stitching challenge where you post a before and after of any other type of crafting you're doing. You get. Uh, uh, I think it'd be really funny if your before picture was a blank piece of paper and your after picture was a card. Well. Anybody else think that'd be cool? If you're in some of the stitchers, I guess you'll see. I made cards today. Wow, we really have got a mental link going on. I had to make some cards today. I had to make Mother's Day cards and a birthday card for a birthday I missed. And uh, a sympathy card. <laughs> so, um, but I started working on that on Wednesday, and I also, so in some of my same stitchers, I did the Letters of Fortune challenge. I suck at Hangman. This is my phrase. These are the letters I have. I have like almost guessed. Almost the whole alphabet. My list is on my phone, which we're filming on. Alright, which I, I've literally guessed almost the whole alphabet. I do avoid hangman like the plague. Apparently, I suck at hangman. Stop okay. being so negative. Um, so, before Mania started, I worked on Bayuti and the Beast. I see it! Was on there, and I just did more dress filling. I'm trying not to bust in the random songs. 
Mainly because of the required hand movement and you blocked it up. This is on hand dyed by the Slovak Farm. It's a solo fabric. Excuse me. It is in my own color conversion with Victorian Motto. Sampler shop threads. I'm considering trying to figure out how to make a blog so that I can write down my conversions on a blog and make them a little easier to understand. Not that anybody's asked me for my conversions, but... Hey, honey. To quote a Kevin Costner movie, if you build it, they will come. And then... Mania happened. So, three-day rotation on... Each of my patterns. So I started with the art gallery. And I am doing this on a completely crazy color conversion. By the way, that is my length of fabric rolled up. It's going to be four foot long, just the stitching. Unfortunately, we'd have to move the camera back very far for you to see it all. Yeah. So. That's where I got on the art gallery in three days. Changed the roof color, changed the top of the building to a brick color. This is a variegated Threadworks. This is a different... I'm making notes. These are the notes for what I have done. Um, so the roof is called Maui Nights um, by Threadworks. This is called Sun Shadow by Threadworks. This is Weeks I Works Onyx. It was called Fern White. I blended vanilla pudding and I wrote down 37.53, but I'm not sure that's entirely right. For the cloud, it's got some, it's a very light blue. And then this is 3-3-3-8-6-6. It's white. I made the windows bigger. I changed, this is supposed to be like a decorative lacing pattern in the, in the building. I changed it so it's windows. The vine is not called for. The leaves on the vine are not called for. Nothing is in the call for. Honey, I just found it to be very entertaining. Yes, dear. About 90% of my stitches are in the called for if it has one. About 10% of yours. Together we're one or the other. So then, let's see. So, three days was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday I started the next piece, which is the bakery. So the art gallery will not be an art gallery. It will be a barber shop. The bakery will be a bakery. And here we have the bakery piece. Um, so the vine and the tree trunk are Shaded Russet by Victorian Mottos. The leaves on both are Weeks Dye Works Butterbean. I had picked out a different color, but I really like Butterbean. Even though I hate stitching with Weeks Dye Works, they're a pain. Mm -hmm. um, again, the cloud is the mixture of pale blue and white. The roof peak is willow. I think it's a ghast. It might be a classic color works. Don't ask me what I'm doing. And then the roof will be toad spell by Victorian Mottos. 
Um, most of my Victorian models are out of my monthly box or the um, Halloween grays that I purchased. So that's why I think I need to start a blog to, in case somebody goes, I want to stitch my building like that. I think she just wants a documented record of her insanity while she can still think about it. I think I'm insane. I don't think. And I have the FFO. Yes, it is off-centered. Judge me. <laughs> um, it is... What is this? This is all of yesterday's wedding day, I think is the name of the pattern. No idea. I don't remember. I stitched this. I think I stitched this in 2000. I think I finished stitching this in 2017. Yes, we were married in 2007. And yes, it's 2019 and I just got it burned. This is a... Uh, shadow box frame from Daris. So there is a board, there's like a frame that goes around the inside that sits between the glass and the backing. So, because I did put beads on it instead of French knots. So I put the glass up to protect the stitching, and the stitching is not touching. I'm not touching you. I'm I got to find you. me some more of these frames because you've been running around bragging <laughs> about it for the last couple days. I mean, this was a breeze to put in there. Lacing it was not. And that's all another story. So I lace my projects. Let's see if I can get this open. I'll show you. I lace all of my projects, or my fr my my framed things. Yes, I can. The back of it's kind of grubby. Um, it just got grungy while I was working on it and it, it didn't clean up well. And since it was going to be back, I wasn't really terribly. I do these. So, as you can see, the strings are super tight. You have to pull the strings super tight when you're lacing. And you have to use very strong string. Strong like bull. Um, most people use, well, a lot of people use an embroidery thread or a pearl cotton, which is what I originally was told to use. And then Lindy Stitches in her latest floss tube update said she found a tip to use upholstery thread. Um, because upholstery thread is strong, like the embroidery thread. But unlike the embroidery thread, you can cut a really long length and it won't tangle a knot because you use a lot of thread to lace and you pull really really hard <laughs> like you think you're pulling too hard you're not pulling hard enough so my FFO mm -hmm. and that is whips and finishes and apples. Oh, y'all, take it away. Woo so, guild meeting was Wednesday, the first. Mm -hmm. Um, freebie table. We got some things off the freebie table. This is. Plum Pudding Needle Art Stitched with Love. There we go. That's the camera. I think it else is backwards. What do you like the two patterns in this thing? Um, it might be, I don't know, I didn't look at it. So I got, um, oh, and you got some boxes. Yeah, I'm not showing those until 
Um, for, one for of, FFOing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically when I get that far, you'll see them. But they're just put ideas in potentia. Get them, dear. By the way, Needle Arts, white pumpkin patch. You can't see the pumpkins on this fabric. I'm doing it on a. I'm going to do it on a darker fabric so you can see the white pumpkins. Because I like white pumpkins. There's three pumpkins on there, so I may stitch one white, one pumpkin color orange. <laughs> Thanks, because I forgot what the color of pumpkin actually. Traditional orange for pumpkin, and then there are such things as teal pumpkins. Like teal pumpkins are real. If you don't watch Priscilla and Chelsea, you don't know that. But so I may do one of each color. I don't know. I may do them all as white. I don't even know what I'm gonna stitch it. And then I got a bag of various beets and such. Most of them, I think, are delicas. I think my, uh, no, they're not all delicates. I don't know, there's various shapes. There's quite a few tubes of seed beads. Um, but we can all use some beads. So that was Guild Hall. So that was free. And then I bought on sale. Bush Mountain Stitchery was having a spring cleaning sale. I'm not Let me lie. clean our store by giving it to you. For a price. Pretty much. Um, so, I bought Mirabilia's Lady Justice. If I stitch this. Because I'm going to be honest. I'm not super sure I'm ever going to stitch this. I'm converting it. Well, if you don't stitch it. To a gray colorway. So that it looks like a statue. Alright. Uh, I think that's awesome. And I may just convert the grass dress to gray. Um, because when you think of when I think of Lady Justice, I think of the statue. But um I have been eyeballing this for a while. It's one of those I may never stitch it, but we all know how Mirabilia and Nora Corbett are, so... Is that the one I just told you to go, out, just go buy it already? No. Well, which one was that? I don't remember. Then how do you know it wasn't that one? You don't remember. Because I didn't consult you on this. You weren't here, so I thought, well, it's on sale. Um... So was less than twenty bucks? Oh yeah. Then I don't care. Yeah, it was on sale. Um, I've yeah. seen some patterns where half price is thirty dollars. This is true. Queen of Freedom or Queen of Liberty. The one where she's sitting with the flag draped on her. It's also on the I may buy it, but I may never stitch it list. I swear. I'm going to take all the stuff she's never going to use and I'm just going to put it on the wall as decoration. This is where pattern stashing is pattern collecting. I'm not going to lie. There are some mirabilias that it's like, I may never stitch that, but I kind of want to have them in my stash because I may want to stitch them. And we all know how mirabilia and Nora Corbett likes to randomly discontinue patterns. Like, seriously, had I known then what I know now, I would have bought Lady of the Flag. I'm not paying 50 bucks for Lady of the Flag to possibly never stitch her. Just saying. But if I ever find her for cheap, I may stash her because there's a conversion that I like. She goes, she's on April, April's, um, stitch from stash part. I'm sorry, stitch from stash part. And now, the green plaid bag that many of you know and love. The keepsakes bag. I 
think that's it. This is yours. I'm being a dork to be a dork, okay? That's yours. That's mine. That's mine. That's yours. Who bought that? That's yours. That's yours. That's, yours. That's mine. <laughs> Do you want to start showing your, showing your stuff? No, this is entertainment to me. Okay, so we'll start with the freebies. Okay, so if you've never been in Keepsakes, Keepsakes has freebies stashed all over the store. Oh, I thought I had a freebie. Yeah, there's a, there's a... Yeah, you picked up a freebie. Show them the freebie. So, they have freebies stashed all over the store. You just pick them up and take and them. And we can show the patterns because they're freebies? Because they're freebies, we can show the pattern. Um, they do have models of them stitched up. And... This is a chessboard that I'm going to go crazy with. I am actually going to be, um, making these squares an inch. By like tripling, like doubling the size of the. I'm making an actual chessboard. I'm gonna make a playable chessboard out of it. So, um, and then I picked up. What did I drop? Oh, I know what I dropped. The thread. Then I picked up. Hi. Extreme close up. I picked up a heart shaped flag. That's two colors. It's stitched on white. I may um, and this was this was pretty where you know. Red, white, and blue. I may mute the red and the white, or the red and the blue a little, and stitch it on a creamy color. And then, United Stitchers of America. We all know I have a thing for patriotic. I can't show this one because it's actually just the pattern, and I actually paid for it. I'll show you what we do with that. Um, so, you guys know I like patriotic things. So, those are the freebies. Let's show what you purchased. I don't know if it's the pattern or just the charm I paid for. I don't know. This is called Vine Heart. It comes with a little charm. If you can figure out the pattern from that distance. Go keep chasing mine anyway. Right. <laughs> I got another pair of tweezer scissors. Clipper scissors. Tweezer scissors. Whatever. This one should actually fit in my hoose wife without falling out. I got. Let me see. Sue Hillis Designs Eat Cake. So, of course, Keepsakes has tons of Sue Hillis stuff because Sue Hillis is almost like Keepsakes house designer? I mean, that doesn't sound right, but Sue Hillis lives in the area. So. I seriously went all over the board. You did. Little House Needleworks Moonlight. That looks epic, especially if I do this on like a white, on like a night blue, like a grayish, bluish color. So it looks kind I know, just like the night time. I think that would be up. What do you think? I think your dyer can handle a kid who could come up with something that will look amazing on. Well, I know that. It's just what color type of amazing do I want? Okay. okay. And that was by Little House Needleworks. Yes, I said that. The Scarlet House, there's probably... And it looks like it's two different patterns. It's two different patterns. There's probably dog hair on it. There's probably cat hair on it. Or both in our house. In our house. Likely both. So, I needed... Um, I'm stitching some things on... Dog hair. I'm stitching some things on, um... Main Street in uh, Gast Onyx. We were there. I bought some. Rather than waiting until I go to see my local meal, my LNS. Lizzie, this is a Lizzie Kate snippet. It says quite a bit. 
you'll feel better. I like wine. So, and it's a wine bottle holder. And because it's patriotic and it's Ohio, I couldn't pass it up. Flag State, Ohio by Heinzit Designs. The little charm is included. But don't ask me where the charm goes because it's not in the picture. Man. Yeah. I got a couple of Sue Hillis charts. I got buttons and lace. I can break these up for smalls too if I want to stitch them in smalls, which I may actually stitch them in smalls and pillow finish them for like a dull bowl or something. I have wanted this since I laid eyeballs on it this Christmas. It is home for the holidays. Red trucks, Christmas trees, red campers, and a little red wagon. Hey, yeah, I recognize those people. Hey, look, we recognize those faces. Um, I also like that red truck. And then, Vicky over at Stitch and Buttons. I entirely blame this on you. Maybe not entirely on you. Um, a bunch of people, I want to say it was 9-11, maybe it was Flag Day last year. But a bunch of people started One Nation by Bygone Stitches. And I had been seeing it, and I thought, that's really cool. And Vicki at Stitch and Buttons was stitching on it Thursday before we left. She put up an Instagram post up on Friday while we were driving down there, and I was like, oh, I really have to get this pattern, because it's really cool. And we walked into the Patriotic Group, and there was, like, in two different places, this pattern staring me in the face. So I did get it. Say thank you. Thank you, Vicki. We'll train her yet. <laughs> you totally enabled me on this. I believe her channel is Stitch and Buttons. That doesn't sound right. But I think that is it. Because I think that's her Instagram for her Etsy store. I talked to her on Virtual Stitchers, too. It is 400 stitches wide. By 210 to stitches tall. It uses three colors. This pattern was in 2010, so they're actually crescent colors, which is now classic colors. But they have the DMC conversions. If I do it in the classic colors, it is 12 skeins of antique lace, three of blacksmith blue, and nine of cupid. That's a lot of thread. Probably not doing it and just doing it in DMC. Maybe I'll pick the called for DMCs and add a shade up or a shade down to make them a little bit bigger. Oh, Stitch from Stash Budget. I knew thee well. Stitch from Stash. I say goodbye. I believe my what I would be called is an enabler. <laughs> that concludes all oh, y'all. Yep. Plans and announcements. We almost had a catastrophe of computer dying proportion. Last week, how it ate plans and announcements. Well, I thought it ate all three other segments. <sighs> There's all a chance we're going to be wearing different clothes in a clip this week. What are your plans, darling? Uh, 
I am going to be stitching on kitty cats. Because I had a really funny idea, fun idea for it. Um, well, not because, of the cat, not because of the cat. She was crazy anyway. But my mom's a crazy cat lady. I'm doing cats. My mom would like something for, would like me to stitch or something. Cats fix the bill. As long as I get that done so when I see her in July, I can give it to her. By God, I'm going to give her a heart attack with it too, I hope not. My mom is a very emotional you person. Um, mania. Mania. Today's the last day on bakery. I don't know what I'm working on for the next three days or the three days after that. They're laying an order up on my craft desk. So, mania. That's plans. Oh, there's plans. Announcements! Bah! Lynn! Still haven't put this in the mail for you yet. I completely space cadetted on it while I was running around trying to get an order, a fabric order, mailed out and make project bags. And cause we took project bags down to Pam and Seth. I took project bags down to Pam and Seth. Between getting those done and getting a fabric or dye order in the mail and figuring out the porch situation and packing to go away for the weekend, I forgot. You should be used to this by now. Really, you should. Lynn, you should. You know me. We are friends. You know. Bridget, you're the only one who asked for Noah last week. Two weeks ago. So it's all yours. I'm not entirely sure I have your address. I want to say I do, but I'm not entirely sure. So shoot me a message with your address. Please and thank you. This week's giveaway. Called Garden Giggles by Linda Gilliam. There are a bunch of little motifs, garden motifs. Most of them are bunnies. Looks like there's, well, most, it looks like most of them are bears. There's some cats. There's some bunnies. They're all smalls. Super cute smalls. So if you would like to stitch this, if you would like this, say I would like to stitch the garden. There's four seasons. There's a welcome banner. There's a watering can with a mouse jumping into it that says no diving. I forgot the lawn. I fought the lawn and the lawn won. Honey, I'm home. Reading. Honey, Gardening I'm is home. serenity. Man, okay. Cats. <laughs> All kinds of cute little gardening animal motifs. So, if you would like that, say I would like to stitch the garden. And typical rules don't say yada yada yada. Don't yada, say yada. giveaway. Don't say free. Don't say, you know, all of that stuff. Just say. Okay. We do not support bot, bot giveaway entries. I did not do stitch from sash last week because when we filmed technically it wasn't the end of the month so let's talk stitch from sash excuse you dog I can't have my seat so I'll photo bomb your, your I'll bomb your video with coffee starts coughing you alright there, baby girl? Well, it could be your sneezing when she probably goes to give herself a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. She's, She's like, like goes, boom! She's like, shakes her head and boom! <laughs> She's too close to the floor, she'll smack her head on the floor. And it worries me. Stitch from Stash! My budget for the month was $81.47, which included a carryover of $56.47. 
I spent $38.15. Does not include my birthday purchases. I finished two things for a credit of $19. So my final total for the month was a credit of $62.32. All of that is now with keepsakes. <laughs> we have to figure out how much of that was mine, how much of that was yours. I have price tags. I know how much. Um, there's price tags on all of my charts, and I know how much uh, gentle art. And we're back. Yay! Apologize for the abrupt ending of that previous look because apparently. When the computer went all crazy and shut down, it had finished copying the files, but did not tell the, the phone to delete the files. So it ran out of storage space right as we were finishing talking. Yep. So, the last little bit I have for you tonight is a shop update. I have bags available on my webpage or on my Facebook group webpage, on my Facebook group this is the last one I have of this pattern with the blue flowers and the blue check inside I may have another one of this because I do have one of these for myself I may not keep it it's not I like it but you know I have fabrics that I love more and really how many project bags do you need 30, according to you. This one, I can repeat. I can do. It is red trucks, what, red bike, red wagon. It's got a nice star, stars on it, on born wood. This is repeatable, the way the fabric cuts. Um, there's a little bit of different scene on each one. This one is slightly more because I can still buy the fabric for it. And then I can still buy the fabric for Beauty and the Beast. They will be right side up this time. And they have yellow roses on the inside. So these two I can buy more fabric of and make more of. This is the last one I have of this. If you want, head over to my Facebook group. Head over to the group, not the page. The group hand dyed by the Slovak Farm is my fabrics and my bags. The page, the Slovak Farm, is all my bath and body stuff. Which, if you, you're interested in that, you can like too. That's all we have this week. We're done. We haven't gotten cut off yet. So, please like subscribe comment please comment because I do enjoy we do enjoy reading the comments yeah it kind of makes us feel like we're chit-chatting with everybody oh yeah I see some weird guy with a with a with spaceship looking fighter thing named Odacia hi I have commented a couple times I don't think people realize it was me yeah so um I comment on videos as a Slovak farm I comment on our videos under the page name. I'm not doing two accounts. Just not. <laughs> Just not. So, please comment because we really do enjoy the comments. If you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because we really enjoy having those regular viewers that watch us. And also, if they made it to this point, they might as well. And if I haven't, yeah, if we haven't driven you off yet, stick around. We're fun. Most of the time. <laughs> I haven't been much fun lately. Mm. Life sucks lately. Bonk. That's it. Um, have see a ya, great bye. week. We will see you next week. Bye. bye.